What inspires you to, to put what you put on canvas? Good question. Um, is it on? Yeah. Okay. I like the freedom that the abstract allows me. I like the process of opening up the canvas and letting the canvas tell me what to create. I usually layer four, five, six, seven, as many as ten layers on top of the painting until I basically feel like the painting has is finished and complete. Have you always painted the style you're painting now? No, I used to when I first started painting I painted in sort of a whimsical folk art style. And mostly on wood and uh, found objects framing them in unusual ways. You know, I walk this way, I don't even notice it. <laughs> anyway, so, um, uh, I don't really, I'm not really happy with that explanation. I mean, it, did it sound okay? Because yeah. cause I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's very hard. I guess the question would be, what most people ask when they see your work, can you tell me where the imagery comes from? How do you convey what you're getting on canvas? I guess that's the ultimate question that every artist gets. I mean, really, when, when you're creating a piece, you're you're falling into that piece of artwork. You're you're almost floating in a zone, and you 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 start working the piece. And I I never really totally am sure whether or not a piece is complete. But when I'm when I'm working the piece, there are segments of the piece that tell a story and that that I want to take into a direction. And I'll work that part, and then I'll leave it, and then I'll come back and I'll work another part. And it's sort of an evolving thing. It's a, it's a living, breathing thing. And, and the, the process is not easy to explain. <laughs> um, tell me what the question was again, really. <laughs> I like that hands-on thing that I can do with my work. And that carries on to everything that I do. I like that manipulation. And I got to do that with folk art because I could, you know, hammer brushes on the edges of the pieces, or, uh, break up the frames into little bits and pieces, and glue weird stuff on my pieces. And I started doing the abstract work, this about two years ago. And uh, that was an interesting experience making that change. Usually when I start a piece, I choose a palette. And the palette is going to create the mood for the piece. The mood is generally the first stage of the piece. As I work the painting, the painting leads me in directions that sometimes I don't even know I was going to go into. And it, it, it pushes one way and another, and then sometimes before I know it, I'll step back and go, oh. <laughs>
that's not really what I started to do, but I really like it. And then I'll explore that avenue. And that's what makes the process so wonderful because it's ever-changing and it's constantly evolving and you can't predict where you're going. I mean, you can guide yourself in a direction. You know, I want to do a serene piece. I want to, I want to do a calm piece. I want to do an active piece. I want to do one that has a lot of motion and a lot of feeling. Or I want to do a, a landscape piece. But for the most part, once you get into the process, you realize that sometimes you're not totally in control of it. like my paintings are all about my emotion. I think that every piece I do is about my emotion. My emotions at any point in time, you can look at my pieces and you can know you can see what I've been going through and I'll look at my pieces and I'll say, I remember that. I remember my life at that time. They're little snippets of my world and little snippets of me and I put them out there and in they're part of my therapy, they're part of who ma what makes me who I am. And I think that every artist, if you're missing that in your life, that's what you need in your art, is you have to put your emotions down on the canvas. You have to, whatever you're living, whatever, whatever you're working through, needs to be on the canvas. In five years I see myself working in bigger pieces. I see my growth in bigger pieces. I, I, I think you can really portray you can Yeah. Where do you see yourself going with your art? Do you think you'll paint this same series? I think that in the next few years my style will probably be totally different than what it is right now. I think one of the th one of my character flaws or whatever you want to put it is I get bored very easily. Uh, I have to be changing and I have to keep motion and going forward and if I if I'm not seeing um, if I feel like I'm getting stale in any way at all I'll t change and do something different. I've always wanted to be a sculptor. I've always thought that um, with my need to manipulate and touch my art that being a sculptor would be the perfect avenue.